Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Batman issue 48. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 130, and that's show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics we have Deadpool issue 6, Devolution issue 1, Sunflower issue 3, Super Zero issue 2, Postal issue 3. Lucifer issue 2, Star Wars issue 15, Star Brand and Night Mask issue 2, Wonder Woman issue 48, Batman and Robin Eternal issue 16, Injustice Gods Among Us year 5 issue 2, Miss Marvel issue 3, Patsy Walker aka uh, Hellcat issue 2, and uh, Astonishing Ant Man issue 4. So, if you want to check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, episode 130, which is annotated. But let's start talking about Batman issue 48. And I got the fun adult coloring book variant cover. Because um, honestly, I really don't like Bloom as a villain. And this is the cover. It's with Bloom. So, I'm like, I could just get this, which has nothing to do with Bloom, it has to do with the Joker. And I could color on it, which I probably won't, but still. Uh, so. That is the cover. Uh, let's start talking about the interior. Gorgeous artwork uh, by Capallo again. Um, most of this issue actually is talking heads, but that really proves how great Capallo's artwork is and um, really meshes well with uh, Snyder's uh, storytelling with uh, a lot of the dramatic scenes. Like, there's one scene uh, where I, I think it's uh, the Joker's talking and, and you just see a moth by the light. Uh, so love, love the artwork. Uh, so really good. And also, I guess, some of the, the tension in this issue, too, where you get to see that it, it looks like the Joker is going to kill himself, but you hear a bomb in the, in, in the background, and it's actually just a, a building. So I thought that was really well done, too, artwork-wise. Uh, but let's see what's going on with the story. So in this issue, I would say it's, once again, half and half. It's Bruce Wayne half and then the James Gordon half. And once again, the James Gordon half is the more boring part. Uh, the James Gordon half, you find out a little bit about Bloom and his motives, but still not totally interesting to me. It's about uh, these uh, mob bosses who are helping Bloom, and you still don't really know the actual identity of Bloom, but again, you get to learn his motives at least here. And it looks like that he reveals to the world that Commissioner Gordon is Batman, or at least this current Batman. So. We'll see how they deal with that in other books, because uh, obviously the other books have not covered that. Um, we'll see if uh, James Gordon will last as Batman after this, or if he'll take a kind of different ide identity. Um, the other part, the, the best part of this book, is the, just a conversation between the Joker and Bruce to see who knows what. Does Bruce remember he's Batman? And it's really the Joker that reminds him of who he is. Um, and the Joker just being creepy as uh, ever and talking about the seat, this this park bench, uh, that he wanted to kill himself on there. And uh, again, this is just something that jogs his memory of, of Bruce's memory that he was Batman. He doesn't really want to remember. He's been forcing himself not to. But by the end, he sees what's going on in, in his city, and he talks to Alfred and says, I gotta go to my cave. Uh, so, again, the negatives to this issue was the James Gordon part. If it wasn't just the James Gordon part, um, I think this book would be even higher than it is, which I gave this four stars. Uh, because there's some really great dramatic dialogue between Joker and Bruce that reminds you of why they're some of the, the best hero-villain relationships uh, in comics. And, you know, why Joker is such a great villain. And you really get reminded here of, of their relationship. And, and, and he's the only one that could get Bruce to say, hey, I gotta be Batman again. Um with the city in turmoil. But again, the bloom part is what sticks out to me as being the, the non-interesting part. Uh, and of course you need it because you need someone to destroy the city to make Bruce uh, to become Batman again. But I kind of wish they built him up a little bit more, um, even though they took so many issues to try to build him up. I still don't feel a big connection to bloom. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely the negative part, but there is some really good meat here with the Joker and Batman. Beautiful artwork. Uh, so Batman issue 48 gets four stars. I thought this is a very solid issue, very close to four and a half stars if it wasn't for the Bloom stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.